Well, hello everyone and welcome back to the next part of this Let's Play Star Citizen. Um, for those of you that are following me on Twitter, link is in the description, you so already have noticed that the other day I posted saying that I have finished oh, oh, my upgrade chain for my Hull C, which then... Because Hull C is not in game at the moment, it gives me this as a loner. This is the Drake Caterpillar. And I must say, I am over the moon with my loner at the moment. Um, looking forward to my Hull C. But this is about as best to stand in as possible that's in game at the moment. I'm really looking forward to getting in and flying this baby around. Because up to this point, I've only really had the chance to fly it during like free fly events. So that is awesome. It's been a long time since I've uh, explored one either. So I thought, you know what? Let's go in and we'll explore it a wee bit. Because it's been a long time since we showed the interior of it. And then we'll go do some... Uh, trade. Yeah, because this is primarily... Primarily... The primary function that is in-game at the moment for this ship is its trade. Now, in the future, it's going to be a great pirate vessel. It's going to be a great miniature, like, miniature pirate base. Because it's a uh, modularity, that kind of stuff. But yeah, we'll go into this. So we come up the elevator here. And so that's how you get in and out of the ship, the elevator there. Then we go through this door and we've got our habitation area which has two beds, some TVs, and some utilities like a sink there. I don't know what that is. Are they hobs for cooking? I'm not sure. But yeah, very Drake, very minimalistic. I don't know what that panel's for. Then we come through into the first storage area for cargo. And these are the modularity that I was talking about before. These, you'll notice that these are double doors. Because these all detach. And you will be able to slot in different things. We don't know what they are yet because CIG have not said. And we can see these sides open for getting cargo in and out. And then, so yeah, we've only got the default cargo ones at the moment. But, I don't know, maybe in the future we'll get a med bay one. So instead of having cargo here, we'll have a couple of med bays. You can climb up the ladder. For when it's full of cargo, you're not going to have much room down there. I don't think you can walk through it at all when it's full of cargo. So we've got the access ramps up here instead. And you can see we've got another one of them. Got module free access and we've got another one of them then right at the front oh wait no we've got another one of them then so there's four and then we have a fifth different module which is just cargo again but it's the front one so it's slightly different it's forward facing and opens up forward then we've got access to the upper turret here very nice and we can open the front cargo hatch there, just like so. And close it too. Have a quick wee look down, just for the sake of it. Come on, open up. So yeah, we can see the front one. I don't think this is modular, actually. I don't think this changes, this one. I think you've always got to have this one. I think it's just those four bits there that are the modules. So this one always has to be cargo, but you're always going to need cargo space. For example, if one of those, you do swap one of those cargo areas out for, say, a hangar that can store, like, a Merlin, something small like that, a little tiny fighter. You're still going to need to store stuff here, like spare fuel and ammo for it. So this will be where you store spare fuel and ammo to then resupply that, say, Merlin or a Buccaneer. Yeah, I could easily see one of these being turned into a buccaneer hanger. Then another one being turned into a, like a little medical area. 
And so you can see what I'm saying. People see this as like the tiniest, smallest base possible for pirates. Then obviously pirates need lots of cargo space to store their ill-gotten goods, which is no use for it. Um, yeah, so this ship is definitely a grower if you like it. It's one of those ships that, for now, it's got really great function because it's the best trade ship in-game at the moment because it's got the biggest cargo capacity in-game at the moment. And in the future, it's going to sort of lose that when stuff like the hulls come online with vastly superior cargo. Like, the hull C is probably the best competitor to the... Someone just blew up. I'm glad it wasn't me. Um, the hull C is probably the closest comparable ship to this in the hull series. And the hull has, like, thousands. The hull sea has, I think it's like 4,000 cargo capacity for a ship of comparable, like, the most comparable size one. Whereas this only has 500. So you can see in the future it's not going to be pure hauler like the hull series is. is yeah. So we just come out. With, there's a little corridor here. We're back at the elevator here. Yeah. Come through the corridor. And we've got access to the engines. I can see the engineer will be spending a lot of time down here. We can head straight upstairs that way. Engineers, panels, and that here. Uh, access to the uh, rear turret. We've got some stairways here. Central hallway. This is actually where you're going to be able to control the tractor beams so when you've got a uh, other ships going off and uh, like blown up like you've got other ships attacking the whole sea this thing's going to come along then with the tractor beam and get the bits that the other ships blow off like oh look there's a couple of cargo containers tractor beam them and suck them into the cargo now grab another one in it goes Then we've got EVA access. Where is that? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Dock and collar. So you can get out the ship up that way into EVA. And then you've got, yeah, the module access. This leads to the gantries or the walkways above those modules. So we originally came in through that door there. This is the doors up here. To walk all the way along the ship and get to that forward turret, remember? Right, back to the central hallway. That's the stairway we came up, isn't it? No, this is the stairway we came up. This. Yeah, up there is to where the command is. Server access. So this is where you've got your computers. I don't know. So this is where you're going to have your computing power. Where you're going to have stuff like uh, you're going to be able to turn these turret. You're going to be able to go to the PCs and right, I've got two PCs here, um, and I don't know how much it's going to. They've not fine tuned this yet because it's not a gameplay they're looking at yet. But eventually, you're going to have so much computing power, and you're going to be able to say, right, I want fifty percent of my computing tab power manning turrets for me, so I don't need someone to physically man the turret. The computer's going to do it for me and shoot them automatically. Then I'm going to use the rest of my computing power to do this, and they've not fine tuned it yet. They have said that you're not going to have the computing power to do everything. So using the computing power to say you do your turrets is going to be a big drawback in other areas. Like say if there's someone out trying to hack your ship, you're not going to have the computing power to put up a defense because your computing computers are manning the turrets instead. But if you have people manning the turrets, maybe then the computers can then mount a feasible defense against the hack. Or whatever else is going on, or whatever other gameplay they implement there. They've said that the most ships are not going to have the computing power to do everything. One ship that I can see is going to be very powerful on this front is the Mercury Star Runner because it has a lot of computers. It's kind of the main thing that for it though, like it's data running, it's that sort of stuff, right? Well, then here we have here. The power supply 
and jump drive. So yeah, the back of the ship here going to have a lot of the engineer's type. Which fortunately for the engineer, the engines are just down there. He can just jump up and down these floors and spend a lot of the time here. So it's actually quite very well organized for that dude, the end guy that's engineering. He just needs to stay in that sort of one section. One section. So you got two server rooms by the looks of things actually. Wait, no, that's just no, there's not. There's just one server room. This is just corridor. Okay, I'm getting lost. Right back, we've only not taken a look in one area, and this is the command module, which again is quite nice in this ship. It actually detaches, much like the modules, if you are under attack, like the pirates get pirated by other pirates kind of thing. Um, and I don't mean to say the ship's only good for pirates, I'm saying Drake designed it with pirates in mind, just as well as I want to clarify that point. But if you are getting attacked by pirates and you're in this ship, and uh, you're like, right, we're screwed. I want to get out with my life. My character has whatever the death of a spaceman. I'm at my last straw kind of thing. I do not want my character to die. Detach the little command module and run away. The little command module runs away. And lives to fight another day. So you're back here. We can see we've got a chair for someone to work maybe the shield generators or something like that and another one here for auxiliary whatever you want them to do and you've got your co-pilot and pilot's chair so say if there's not much for the engineer to do maybe he wants to chill back here instead of manning the turrets <coughs> you get what I'm trying to say here this is just places for people to be and do stuff when they don't have much else to do and then down here You have the little living area for the captain and a couple of other... I think it's two people again. So yeah, four beds total on this ship. So the pilot is... Oh, I don't remember this. I don't remember this room. Door. It doesn't seem to want to open. I don't remember what this door is at all. Anyway. But yeah, you got a little... Another area. I can't remember what this panel does either. I think it might be another tractor beam one. But yeah, two beds, sink, whatever this thing is again, the shower, toilet combo, I assume it's the toilet as well. I don't remember seeing a toilet anywhere on this ship. Hmm. But yeah, just make things a little bit more comfortable. So yeah, this is the another area so there's two little different uh, living areas this is command modules living area so if you do have to abandon ship and you do have to detach the command module i guess only two people get beds this is actually quite cramped it's not even i don't think this is even designed for the four people to escape i think it's just designed for the two people to escape all right so now that we've had a wee tour of the ship let's get a uh, Let's play it. Let's use it. Flight ready. It's a quite a nice ship. Take a quick little shimmy around it. So yeah, you can see there. You've got those four modules. Those four like squares. They're the bits that will be interchangeable. When you come to the front, I think the front one will always have to be that cargo. And you're always going to want some cargo anyway. You can see that upper turret there. The lower turret is underneath there. It's hard to see. And you can see that red bit on the right in front of one of the two engines. It's on the left now. But the, you've got a wing on one side and then you've got like a stubbly bit on the other side. That's where we're sitting right now. That stubbly bit on the other side that's giving it asymmetry. That's the command module that detaches and that's what flies away and you can see it's got its own little two engines there It's a bit like a herald. It looks a lot like a herald kind of thing. Just sort of strapped onto the side It's kind of cool So yeah, let's uh Take off Raise the landing gear 
and fly away. Really nice ship. It is a really cool looking ship. I am over the moon with my Luna. But let's actually play some games. Play the game now instead of having to look around, shall we? I know it's been something I've been meaning to do for a while. No, I've not been meaning to do for a while. I've been purposely ignoring going through the Caterpillar again because it felt... Why am I in this? Like when we were at the IAE and all that, I was like, oh, we took a look around it in the IAE before. What's the point in taking a look around it again? But now that we're actually getting to fly it and it's like mine again, it's such a big ship, I felt... Yeah, we're going to have to take a look around it. Should be in main facility. No, it's Kudri Ore I normally went to, wasn't it? Where is it? I like Kudri Ore. That's the closed one. There it is. Set the route for there. Oh, hello. What's this guy doing? Another player come to say hello. He got a big gun. Right. I'll s give him a wee wave. Right. And let's uh, fly right past him. That was a nice... I like seeing other players when it's like that. And it's just to like, they do the wee salute. Nice to see them. Nice to be nice. Let's continue on our, about our business. When I first seen that giant gun in my face, I was like, uh-oh. <laughs> then I realised, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm in an armistice zone. We're safe. Actually, did they remove the armistice zone from Port Ulster yet? I can't remember. I think it, they didn't do it around Port Ulster yet. Because I've not seen the big turrets and all that around Portal, so I think they just did it at the stations, the actual Main Street stations, not the old tech that is Portal, sir. Ah, oh, Star Citizen is such a beautiful game. Let's uh, orientate ourselves. And one thing I wish the game did automatically is kept a waypoint for where you're going. But it's easy enough to get in there. Another one of my pet peeves. Oh, this game is gorgeous. Look at it. Just look at it. Oh, such a beautiful game. Such a beautiful game. Such a beautiful ship. I'm, bit, I'm angling a bit. Speed up this little panoramic because I'm. I know, we've got plenty of. I was like, how close are we getting to the ground? Right, I actually better check that we're. Yeah, time to start slowing down. Oh my, look at that. Just look at that. Oh. I'm pressing print screen. I want a screenshot of that later. I'm going to need to just remember and keep a save of that. That is beautiful. Right. Let's get in and land. Landing gear is down. Landing gear's down. Oh, 
It just never ceases to amaze me how beautiful this game is. That is... That was something. That was nice. There's no little... Yeah, there's no landing things here, so I'm just going to land anywhere. I think we've landed at some sort of weird angle. Yeah, thanks to like a wee bit of a hell, but that's fine. As long as we're stationary. And I can get on and off. Uh oh. I don't like how the ship moved there when I got out of the chair. Right, I wonder what's the fastest way to get off. Part of me thinks it's going to be down here. The other half of me thinks that it's probably going to be taking the stairs. Right. Deploy. This is where having a second person would be really useful. Having a couple of people manning the guns. To cover someone getting off. To go in and buy and trade and the stuff. And then having one person in the pilot seat, then one person ready to go. Minimize your time landing. I do not like walking underneath this when all the feet aren't securely on the ground. It is a gorgeous ship. It is a great ship. Right, we've only got 14 minutes of survival time out here because it's cold and our character's freezing his backside off. So let's get in there. Hello, little trading console. There we go. We'll buy a Christium as much as possible. There's not even one. There's barely any there. But that's fine. A little bit's better than none. Then it has been that long since I've done trading in Star Citizen that I'm kind of like, what else was the most profitable stuff? I think I remember taking gold. I think I remember tungsten being good. Right, 5.81. We'll fill up as much as that. Oh, there's not that much stock of gold either, right? We'll buy as much gold as possible. Man, we'll say there's not... I'm saying there's not that much gold, but compared to, like, when I was in my Freelancer Max, that was more than a cargo full of gold we just took. And it's not even half... Oh, did we get that gold? We did not purchase the gold. There we go, we got the gold now. I can see it in my... Infantry. So that's 200 SCU already. We've got another 300 odd to stuff to buy. So yeah, let's buy... Pearl. Let's buy Tungsten. Tungsten! We're going to buy all the Tungsten that's available. Man, maybe we should... Uh... Maybe I should have went here and then to another. You know, that might be a better way to trade in the Caterpillar. Because I'm not used to trading in the Caterpillar. Maybe you're meant to maybe fly here, buy up all the Agrissium and, I don't know, maybe the gold and leave the other stuff. Then fly to another landing area and buy stuff from there. Then fly to another area and buy stuff from there. Then, max available stock again. You're just going to buy everything from this place. And then fly back to Port Star. So you do like a little three or four stops. Which, to be honest, would probably be more realistic and more, you know, true to what trading is. Yeah, so we've now got all that, and there we go. We can finish up. Oh, Quartz is going to finish us up. 
I'm guessing quartz is the one is there you definitely don't want to trade in next to no profit margin. In the future, you're not going to be able to do it the way I'm doing it at all, or just buy anything. You're actually going to have to plan your routes and stuff like that. But, at this stage in the game, everything's at set prices, everything makes you at least a tiny bit of profit. As long as you know where to sell it. <clears throat> right, so let's get this stuff back to Port Ulsar. Is that my ship I hear? I hope it's not some pirates. Oh, no, 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 no. Right, not over it, on it, on it. On, no, 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 I jammed, walked off it because I was trying not to. There we go. That was a... Uh, more complicated than I originally thought it was going to be. <laughs> Let's see if the cargo's loaded in yet. Yes, it has. And yes, I was right. You're not... Gonna be able to walk through the cargo area when it's like that, right? So let's go up the stairs. Could have went up the ladder too, but the stairs is probably faster. Let's just want to take a walk through my cargo. How much money did I spend on all that actually? Holy moly, nearly half my money. Look at that. Full of cargo. Full of cargo. Full of cargo. Full of cargo. I wonder why those last little four boxes aren't full. Maybe it's a weight thing. And then full of cargo. Metals. <sighs> I love the smell of profit in the morning. What was that? That sounded like gunfire. That definitely sounded like gunfire hitting my shields. You just heard that, right? I could swear I heard someone running there too as I was zooming around. Right, I'm out of here. I am out of here. Full speed. Let's get out of here. Just an awkward as hell angle. I really mucked this map up. Can I click on Pope Osar? There we go. Set the route. No, I want Pope Osar. Set route. There we go. Right, we don't seem to be under attack, so we'll set the speed back to normal. And let's start the quantum drive up. Uh oh, there's definitely sun on my radar. I see it. But it's blue, so it's not a criminal. At least he's not a criminal yet. So, there we get. Oh, hello. It's a little Aurora, it looks like. Oh, that's not too bad. Hi Aurora. Let's uh, give him a wee salute. 
Right, back to what we were doing. Hi. A lot of players saying hi today. I hope this doesn't blow them up when I do this. We probably just travelled right through them. Yes! I don't think I've ever bumped into so many players before. It's kind of nice just seeing players around and just like giving a wee wave, you know what I mean? Like, hi! Turns out the reason, what is it, is they're like. I'm unaware that there's something where pirates follow you around and unassuming ships like the Aurora and like just tell like to keep tabs on you and then get their buddies to come kill you. Right. Let's say uh, say that to that. Let's get uh, our landing permission sorted. Port oh, sir, I want to land. Oops, someone just shot me. They didn't get through my shields though. Someone's trying to shoot me, but I know I'm nice and safe. At least now. I'm in the armistice zone. Let's say... Uh... Is that the little Aurora? I don't think it was. I'm nice and safe. All's good. It's, yeah, it is the Aurora. Only thing he can do is ram me now, and I doubt that'd take me out. It'd take him out, though. And... We're back safe. Hey. Yeah, when I seen how small the caliber of the weapon hits were, like, and I knew we were nearly in the armistice zone, I was like, yeah, it's going to take them like a month to break through my shields. I'm not too worried. Just as I was talking about how it's nice to see people salute and be nice to everyone, then again, maybe he knew that because my ship was that much bigger, than his, that it wasn't really going to be a problem for me if he shot me and he just wanted to say hi again. I don't know. Right, this will be perfect time for a part actually, so we'll get in there, we'll sell the stuff, then we'll call it a part. We'll see how much profit I made from this run. Through the airlock, through the airlock. Right. I wish I had a cargo full of the Aggrissium. That would have took all the money I had, but oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, can you not sell this stuff here anymore? I did a test run last night but i didn't go to there i went to the place that sells gas on yellow because it'd been that long since i did trade that i was like you can still sell at port also right you don't need to go to the cargo areas and my test run i was like yeah i was able to sell at port also fine it was fine but maybe if you can, it's only gas you can sell at port also now oh that's just not fair 
Right. I'm going to need to quickly see where I can sell this then. Maybe that'll be the next part. So I've got this cargo, and now I need to figure out where I can sell it, and we'll take it there, and we'll do that at the beginning of the next part. So, hope you've all enjoyed this. I shall see you next time, where we've got a mission to sell this stuff. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, that's by. Yeah, go to sell. Yeah, it won't let me sell any of this. Uh -oh. Right. See you all next time. Bye, see, bye.